good evening, morning, afternoon, my friends, whatever the time may be where you are. My name is Nina Niskanen and this is my channel of making all of my own clothes as well as sometimes other things. Um, this week we're working on something in between. Um, basically, I know I promised you that I would either be publishing a either a video of a secret project that I made some t some while ago in I think May anyway uh, or the um style arc joy uh vest video um this is neither of those I'm sorry to say um basically this past week has been a bit crazier than I thought. So instead of what I thought I would be doing, I am instead making a uh, Tasuti Fabrics um, allspice apron. Um, yeah, this is the pocket pattern. Um, yes. Uh, I think, well, at least when I got this pattern, it was free to download and it is, in general, a very, I'm expecting it to be a very nice <laughs> beginner project. Um, it basically has, what, five pieces? No, four. Um, the apron itself, the straps, and the pocket pattern that I just showed you. So two straps, one apron, one pocket. That's it. So it's a very simple, simple project. And I just, uh, earlier today, um, we did a uh, cooking class and I realized that I was short an apron. So yeah. I am going to uh, make an apron. I've been planning this apron for like a year, year and a half. Um, I'm using this lovely red twill, which looks a lot like uh, the twill that I used for my... Um, trench coat last year the year before what is time time is meaningless uh, that's probably because uh, it it probably is I I bought the pat uh, the fabric for this project separately but I am pretty sure that it's still the same twill fabric that I bought for the uh, for the trench coat. Well, actually, no, I didn't buy that. That I bought and used for the trench coat. Um, so yes, first we're going to be working on the pocket. The pocket is interesting. Basically, um, it starts out pretty usual. Uh, you do the, uh, you fold the the edge and then you fold uh, uh, according along the line for the uh, um, notches but then it sort of goes wonky because you don't actually fold along the line of the notches to the inside but you fold along the notches to the outside and then you serge everything all the edges and then I think the next thing after that is to somehow sew the bottom corners together in a in an interesting way and then just sort of flip it all out and 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 it'll be fine i 
I don't. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm just going to follow the instructions. Um, but yeah, uh, the last week sort of ran away from me, which is why I'm making this what I am expecting to be a very quick project. Um, and then I will give you the style arc vest and or the secret project next week. But this week we are making this uh, this apron because I need an apron. Anyway, I will see you once the pocket is attached. Oh, changes, changes. Um, I didn't actually change a lot a lot on this. It's supposed to be one size fits all, but you know, one, one size fits all. Yeah, <laughs> give me a break. But um, I did add a centimeter and a half uh, in front of the fold. So, so you cut the uh, main apron piece on the fold. So I just moved the pattern a centimeter and a half inward. Uh, it's in total that adds three centimeters to the width. So it's uh, the width in the front. Uh, and it's it's not a huge amount, but I, I think it's going to be a good thing for me. Um, mostly because most of the circumference of my um, body is in the front, so <laughs> except for my ass, but that's a whole other thing. Anyway, um, yes, I will see you on the other side of the pocket. Wait, no, uh, I'm, yes. On the other side of the pocket, I think. Uh, I will show you how I'm going to place the pocket when we get there. Uh, I will first make the pocket happen. Also, I am going to, before we do that, I am going to show you this cute uh, handmade with love. Um, uh, what is the word? Tag on uh, for my apron. Yes. So I will see you on the other side of the pocket. Okay, so the pocket is done and it is very cute. Look at that tag. The uh, the tag is a little crooked, but I don't I don't care. It's it's still pretty. Look at it. It's so cute. Anyway, um, next I'm going to attach the pocket to the front of the. Um, apron. Uh, basically, the way that I marked this, this is uh, ju just by taking a um, an awl and punching through all of the layers here. Uh, I think you can see that. Yeah. But uh, instead of having the pattern piece be where I um, where I actually cut 
cut it so that it would have been against this line. I just moved it to lie across, uh, lie against the uh, the fold line so that I wound up with the uh, placements in their correct places. Ish. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, so the next step is to put the pocket in place and I am going to put some pins in this and sew the pocket in place. So the next step after after the pocket is in place uh, the is putting the, um, what are the things called? The straps? Yeah, the straps in place. So I am also going to do that. Um, honestly, I'm too lazy to re-thread my, um, my serger. So you are going to be seeing a lot of um, teal, teal thread on the serger end. And that's fine. Especially since I'm going to go back to the teal anyway next possibly next week for the for the joy joy woven woven vest my goodness that is a hard hard word to say in any case pocket straps uh straps on the um on the back edge because the front edge is going to happen later. And... Not, go not entirely sure what is going to happen with that. But... Straps. <laughs> Pocket straps. And uh, you know what? I might as well uh do the the bottom edge of the hemming of the bottom bottom edge of the apron my goodness that is hard to say i will i will see you on the other side of the hem So the um, apron is more or less in one piece. Um, there was a piece that I had lost, which is this. Uh, it is the bib facing, so I cut that out as well. That's coming up later here. So uh, right now, what is going to happen is I am going to neaten the outsides of the strap, the straps. And then after that, all the way to the hem. And then after that's done, I am going to... Um, neaten the inside of the strap and prepare the um, the uh, what is this 
the armhole area of the apron. Uh, but the straps on strap only gets uh, top stitched, sewn down to the join here, and uh, then after the rest of the actual sewing gets done after the uh, straps have been attached to the front and the facing has been applied to the front as well. So yes, this is where we are. Um, so yeah, I I'm going to do all of that and show you where we are with the bib front at the time when when I get there. So I will see you on the other side of the bib front preparation. <laughs> Alright, we are closing in on the end here. So, um, the edge, ends of the strap have both been uh, finished all the way to the underside here. Uh, this is looking a bit confusing mostly because uh, of the crossing of the um, straps. So, what you have here, here, this one, is the front of the uh, come on now, uh, the front of the apron on the front. <laughs> so, Right here are the straps facing it right sides together. And then on top of that is the bib facing uh, also right side toward the right side of the apron body. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to first sew this edge, the edge with all the all the all the things, uh, in order to attach the um, the everything together, basically. Then, uh, after that's done, I'm going to sew just the bib facing and the apron front together uh, on both sides of the bib facing. And then I'm going to turn things <laughs> around and press them. 
So what's going to wind up happening is the bib facing, this, this piece right here, is going to wind up going to the inside or the wrong side of the the um the thing with the thing um and then once that's done i'm going to sew from here which is where the uh the 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 stitching line ends right now i'm going to sew uh, on the wrong side. I'm going to sew from there to through the bib facing on the inside so that the bib facing gets attached at the lower edge all the way to here which is where the stitching line currently ends. And after that's done, this is all done. So yeah! I will see you on the other side with a finished apron. And it's done and I call bullshit on the whole one size fits all because this 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 whole thing it is ridiculous the <laughs> the pocket is at the at basically my breasts this is not no this is not fat compatible <sighs> it's a very cute apron but it's not sized for me. I put it on my partner and uh, it is more or less sized for him. So I don't know. Uh, I might gift this to my sister or I might have him wear it because This is, this is not fat compatible, no. Anyway, it's fine. It, it will see use. It's, it's a very cute apron. I just, I just wish it were bigger. You know, in my size. All size fits all. One size fits most. Oh, all, most, can't remember, one size. Anyway, uh, if it did fit, I would be very happy with this project because look at it, the, the pocket is really cute. I, I really like the idea of putting the tag here at the top. Um, 
it's just far too small. So apparently I am going to be looking for another apron pattern, this time hopefully for suited for myself. I'm not going to modify this one because again it's it's a very cute apron. I know that my sister does need an apron, uh, an actual apron. Right now she's using one that I made uh, I think for myself like grade six, seven, something like that. So she could probably use an actual apron. But I am not going to be wearing this to make anything. Anyway, uh, if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, do all of the YouTube things and come back to see if I manage to find an apron <laughs> that will actually work for me. <laughs> Uh, a pattern for an apron because I do currently have an apron that works for me. I just wanted to make one of these jobbies for myself as well. In any case, um, I will see you next week. Uh, the the pattern has been uh, the Tissuti Fabrics um, apron, some something something apron. It's in the video title, you, 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 you know. Anyway, uh, at this point, I don't actually know what next week's video will be, but it will probably be either the joy vest or the secret project that I still cannot tell you about. But in any case, I will see you next week. Next... <laughs> I will see you next week. Thursday. <laughs>